I am at my buddy Troy's bike shop, Maple Ridge Cycles in beautiful Maple Ridge downtown. And I specialize in fixing stuff. I like repairing old things. And, but today we're going to build a couple of e-bikes by a company called Velik. Velik. And uh, got the kids. It's raining outside, so it's almost Christmas time. And for the last 17 years, I sometimes come over here and just build a bike. It's fun. It's nice building new stuff instead of just old stuff all the time. So, yeah, we'll get you in here. Get you in here and see what's going on. Got the kids, Tuffy and Marley. Tuffy and Marley, the cheese. So your biggest friend with these... Uh, these bike kits is a wire cutters because there's all kinds of plastic and I'm kind of a little anal I'll cut it right there so you could reuse them but he just throws these away anyway I'm still gonna save it being silly I know we'll get this see if you cut them on this side then you still have a usable zap strap zipper. Yeah, e-bikes are fun. They're just taking over the market. This is this is the littlest one. But over here is a bigger one. Cut off the accessorize. Oh, there's the there's the saddle. The saddle going. Got my got my garbage bin started. Yeah, we're just gonna take our time and no big deal. Build this in real time. Get you guys, get you guys right in here. Whoa! Some spring pressure on that one. Fender. Put that stuff down in there. Yeah. What are you guys doing today on this rainy day? If it's not rainy by you. You guys ever get the earworms? Yesterday I saw a bumper sticker that said, Merry Christmas. If this offends you, call 8675309. Now I got that song stuck in my head. Hey, I wonder what Tommy Tutone is doing today. Interesting fact, Tommy Two-Tone is actually Thomas Allen Heath. That's right, he was born in 1947. American musician, as a lead singer, rhythm guitarist, and occasional keyboardist of the band Tommy Two-Tone. Apparently, uh, the other members of the band dropped out. For health reasons and uh last report he was a computer programmer in oregon so you know but uh yeah that's the second hardest part about being a content creator is not being able to listen to music so on that subject i was using uh microsoft Clip Champ. I call it Microsoft Movie Monkey or Clip Chimp because uh, they want you to upgrade. They always want you to upgrade. They give it to you for free, but they want you to upgrade. They want you to upgrade. So I did an hour long video last night uh, getting, getting the quads running, getting two quads running in under an hour over by Ramo's house. And uh, yeah, the Microsoft Movie Monkey has music on there, right? So I used I used that music. I uploaded it to uh, the YouTube last night. One hour video takes about takes about eight to ten hours to load. And then I woke up this morning. First thing I want to do, and it's still it was still loading. 
eight o'clock this morning, it said there was 50 minutes left. And I mean, I, I record in 1080p, this, this, this one, that one, this one, no. Oh, I don't have the Casa running. This Casa, I turn it down to 720 just because those stupid files. But anyway, um, YouTube said that there was copyright infringement on one, one rock song had copyright infringement on it. And they got the software and all that to, uh, to bleep it out. But if you put, if you put your sound effects or if you put, um, you know, your, your voice on that track, you're going to lose that. So their software allows you to go through and consolidate it back down. But I thought that's strange because that's not on me. Microsoft movie monkey did it so i wonder how that works i was just talking to troy over here and he said it would be nice if you could put like copyright free music on in the background of these videos so that a you wouldn't have to add it and then b you know i'd have something to listen to because I got I got Tommy Two Tone stuck in my head now, so thanks for that. But yeah, that's that's a small price to pay. So yeah, I got the seat post, got the seat here. I told you I'm almost a little bit too organized here, but this is how I do it. There's nothing else in there. Make make a double sure. Oh yeah, there's one more body of the pedals. So one little trick that Troy taught me with the pedals. Oh, that's a charger. Where are the pedals? Oh, the pedals must be in this box. I'm all shaking. I had a coffee this morning. I don't usually have a coffee, but then I was over here last night filming that, uh, the, the, the spoke, the spoke threader tool, CE label. And, uh, I mentioned to Troy, the next time you have a bike, I'd like to build it for you guys here on the tube of you. So he called me up right before breakfast and told me he had two bikes that need to get built. These are already sold. So they can throw it down here on the floor and then we're going to put it up on the stand eventually. But just to get going, I'll do this. There's my grease box. Come over here, put you guys, put you guys on the dog cam right there. Yeah. It's got a little doggy action going. I think that should be pretty much where you need to be. Good boy. Good girl. Tuffy and Marley, the cheese. So, yeah. Got the pedals. Left on the left, right on the right. But we put a little grease. Just a little. Just a little. A little bit of grease on the threads. Just standard operating procedure. So that when you go to take them out someday, if you ever need to, they'll come back out. So this is this is the normal thread, right hand thread. <laughs> Maybe not. There we go. Like I said, that coffee's got me shaking. Yeah, here's the right hand thread. That should be a 15. Yeah, 15 millimeter. Get that one on. Real quick, like. 
These are pretty nice bicycles. They're real popular. I'll read all the specs to you at the end. But, uh, yeah. Pick this up. Get you any upside down cam right now. And this one, this is the reverse. Lefty tidy. You want it tight, but not too tight. They just tighten up as they, as you use them. I've got to put it on monster garage tight. Just regular. We'll pop off the cap. She's in there. Pop off the the stem protector. This one's even got keys. I mean, it's wow. It's got a nice rubber. It's got a nice rubber seal there. Keep the water out of your your, your down tube, your forks, your stem, whatever you want to call it. That's cool. Now we'll find a place. To put this thing. Yeah, I think you need the keys. It's nice. I like helping out Troy. I like helping out my buddies. It's good for him. It's good for me. It's good for you. Put the key in there. And... Is that how it comes up? I've never built one of these before. This is my first one, you guys. So bear with me here. battery out of here it's the charge port it says it's ooh, it's low let's put this thing on charge if i can get it out of here <laughs> is there some sort of a release like a like a 1911 or something that's locked hmm might have to actually consult the constructions on this one. Lay you down for a second. Get the front tire on. Monkey with the electric in a minute. But yeah, Microsoft Movie Monkey. Kind of, uh, you know, the channel's not monetized yet, so we're okay. I only have like 61 subscribers, I believe. And I thank, thank you all. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. I want to try to do a hundred videos in the first hundred days and i'm already up this will be my 18th video right here right now and um yeah it's fun i really you know i like it i really enjoy this i was watching derek barry from uh vice grip garage and he said you know if you're gonna do this Make sure that you're doing something that you enjoy, because if not, it's just going to be a living nightmare. And I enjoy this. I really do. I love building stuff. And it's nice to build new stuff. It really is. Don't get all dirty in that. Usually there's a, yeah, there's a little protector, a little spacer for the disc brake. And that... Slides in there, the lights in the way. Oh, that's that's weird that the lights in the way of the reflector that's there. The light and the reflector are both in the way. That's kind of a little bit on the bizarre side of life there. Look at that. The lights. It's like the light is should be up, not down. That's really weird. Yeah, we're gonna loosen that up, get that out of the way. I guess we're not putting the wheel on yet. Just what's that for? Ooh, nice. I think that goes over the entire stem area. Just an extra little protector. That's kind of neat. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Just a that polished so you not only have that rubber seal in there but you also got that little metal dust cap sounds like it's made out of steel it's 
So we need to get this one. That's uh, probably 10 millimeter. I would, if I had to guess. Yeah, I'm using all Troy's tools. I didn't bring any of mine. It's just easier that way. Yeah, I think that rotates up. Now the wire is going to be in the way. I think we'll unplug that. Have it come around here. You don't want your, you don't want your headlight going into your, into your wheel. That would be not good. We got our front axle. I think I'm done with the 15. Done with the grease. Got the, got the dog cam going. I'm really spreading myself thin all the projects and got the got the GS650 still waiting on the Honda where did that other little spring go uh oh lost one of my spring things I know there was two I just had two a minute ago Hmm. Where did the spring go? Oh, you know what? That's why. That's why they have that upside down so that you remember to put the fender on first. I guess I'm glad I lost the spring. Yeah, I'll get this off of here. Guess I need another 10 to hold the other side. But uh, yeah, it's a good, nope, that's an eight. Oh, this is, this is a 13. There's, there's a little bitty 10, look at that little buddy. Hey, Troy. How are you doing? How's it going, brother? Good, how are you? Can you get that battery? out of there and we'll put it on charge real quick. So yep. it's down to one bar. Yep. So we just gotta put this so we'll, on the, uh, I can't figure out how to open that thing up for the life of me. Right? Oh, how, what did you do? I just had to push it in. The just key? A little bit quick, yeah. Oh, okay. Just had to, All you right. Know, you got the different. Right. Right, so unlock, you gotta get it right down to that one. And then push in? Get a temperamental rate at the start. Push it in and then that will get you Okay, to cool. Unlock. Hey, look at this. It's got nice, nice stem protector. Yeah. And there's a rubber seal under there and yeah. then it's got a metal protector over it. That's just nice fit and finish. Yeah. And yeah, then I couldn't, I couldn't figure out why this was upside down. This whole light and reflector were in the way. Yeah. But it's because they're trying to tell you you need to need to put on the, the fender dummy yep. so that's kind of cool but yeah everything's going great we got the pedals greased up like the, like you showed me there's the charger right there yeah oh that's why it's a I'm trying to get a wrench onto the allen head neat here's a little three-way tool That'd be one of them. There we go. There we go. Get this in there. Get you guys in here. Where's my power tools? Yeah, take off. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. Very comprehensive that they uh, put that on upside down just so you remember. Once you got the wheel on, then you're like, oh, I forgot to do the thing. Goes in front. This back on. Slide your screw in there. Oh, beautiful. I found that spring I was looking for. Nice. And I get started. Hope the audio's all right. I got the 
lavalier microphone hooked up. I'm really going full bore today. Got three cameras and the uh, audio mic. Because I figured at the bike shop you might have some customers come in or something. And, you know, we don't need to have the full ambience of the, uh, the camcorder over there. Really picks up a lot of unwanted background noise, airplanes, motorcycles, next door neighbor. I was by Troy's house a few weeks ago fixing the roof on a old uh, on a, on a trailer, I don't know, you know, uh, what's it called? Not a motor home, but a, you know, a, tra a trailer, you know what I mean? I was fixing the roof on the trailer. This thing's 20 years old, so it needs to be replaced. And uh, yeah, I was up on the roof and I was talking and every time the dogs barked, that microphone on that Sony camcorder behind me, boy, it picked up everything. So I did the right thing. I bought a better mic. Now it picks up even more. So, yeah. Live and learn. But I'm going to use 100% of the audio on the, from the voice memo. And uh, just use the other, these other cameras for little clips and tricks and stuff I'll try not to make this too long but at the same time I want it to be a realistic expectation for you guys if you're gonna get an e-bike for Christmas that's the thing it's almost Christmas it's December 7th today so yeah Santa's in full swing And, uh, yeah, back to, I, I have, uh, iMovie on my Mac, but the Mac crashed three months ago and I thought I lost all my files. I had like 58,000 photos and videos and, you know, about, I don't know, about 60 gigs of music. So I really, I was really just devastated. So I did a thing and I. Went to Mr. Fix around the corner, my computer gurus. And they were able to recover all the data. So that's cool. But in the meantime, I bought a gaming computer so that I could do videos and stuff like that. So last night, the, uh, the Mac was uploading. And while it was uploading, I just decided that I might as well use that Microsoft Movie Monkey. And uh, I'll tell you, I really, really regretted it. There's the foam. Some of this felt in here. I'll try to get this thing up on the stand. Get it up in our grill so you guys can see what I'm doing. Have to adjust it. Must have had a small bike in there. There we go. Still too small. <laughs> there we go. Right on. Now it's all professional like up in the stand. Like it's supposed to be. And uh. Yeah, now that I found the spring, we'll get the front tire on there real quick. Straight. Looks like a really nice light. Get the tire up in. Get the get the rotor and the brakes. Under a little bit in the way. Quick release. Doesn't really matter what side it goes on, but we'll put it opposite of the the braking side. The spring in there. Quick release. This is a really nice bike. Quando. It's got quando. It's 
It's got Kwando hubs. Kwando means means why in Spanish, I believe. So, why? Why these hubs? Why? Yeah, just center center up that fender. That fender fits really nice. I mean, it's just really tight in there. I'll wheel over a little bit more, adjust it. Yeah, it's gonna need some air. It's got no almost no air in it. A little it just seems crooked. There we go. Just a little more adjustments. Right on. Front brake. Front brake. Yeah. Nice. Rear brake. Front brake's got a little bit more play in it than I like. Let's see if that pumps up. I'd have to have the expert, Troy, look at the front brake for me. And then uh, get to grab a little dust rag. It's a little dusty. It's just a little dusty. I don't like this manufacturing stuff. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that off and get that protective film out of there. Three. That's Puffy and Marley. Organic burglar alarm. I know. You guys are so sweet though. Just go back to go back to resting. Yeah, go back to go back to resting. We'll get you guys over here. You can see it from this angle. Look how dusty that is. Boy. I mean, that is just amazingly dusty. Chee cheese. Good boys and girls. It's okay. It's okay. Tough tough. Tough tough. Marley. Oh, it is so, such good organic burglar alarm. It's cool when we're out in the woods or in the forest or when we're walking around and you're just chilling out, man. You don't have to worry about anybody ever sneaking up on you with these guys. They will they will start barking when people are fifty yards or fifty miles away. It's pretty funny. My little buddy. It's just what they do. I know. It's just what they do. It's just who. It's just who they are. You gotta love them and their little lovableness. I hope, hope it's not too bad on the audio. It's even dusty under the battery. Hold on. Give her a little wipers. It's really nice. Look at that kickstand. I mean, that's just burly. Like it's adjustable. That's nice. That's a really burly. Look, it's got a nice grip to it. That's a nice, nice kickstand. It's got a Velic, Velic brand hub in it. Obviously, it's 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 hub drive. And it's got this little. That's that's cool. This chain tensioner is also probably where the the electric brain is. That's nice. The the cables are routed through the frame. Puffy Marley, the cheese. Got my fingerprints off of there. Yeah, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to take this. Just loosen them. Just loosen those so we can get the protective. Like I said I could get a little anal sometimes with this stuff. Just don't just gives it a shabby gives it a shabby appearance, you know? Makes it look like it was unloved when it's got this little protective paper around the edges. Hey, it's okay. Good boys and girls. Oop. That's cool. It's just a plate. Yeah, see? Oh, that's so satisfying to get that little piece out of there. That would have bugged me. I would have went home and made a sandwich and started thinking about it, and then I would have had to come back. I would have been. That's just, you know, if you're going to do something, 
especially if you're going to do it for a friend. Might as well just do it right, you know? Just do it right. Don't cut corners. What did that take me? 25 seconds to redo that. It's nicer that there isn't individual nuts in there. It's that nut plate made it super easy. Tight, not too tight. It's just a fender stay. We don't got to go crazy. But yeah, it's a little, let's see, it's a little bit off back here. Yeah, that's better ish. And then up here too is a little bit of that that plastic, but I'm not going to worry about that one because that's riveted. Those are, <laughs> the owner is going to have to deal with that. But uh, yeah, these two bikes are sold. So sorry if you want one, that they're, they're sold. But um, it's a good company, this Velik. Troy's been selling these for a little while now. Good babies. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, Tuffy. He's a good boy. This rag in here. It's really dusty. I mean, it's almost like it was dusty before they put it in the box because the box is, you know, it's sealed. Well, I guess it's got holes. So, yeah, it must have been like on a truck going down a dusty road for 100 miles. Something. Something. But see, I don't have to do this. Troy does this. He he likes cleaning things because that's how he finds uh, errors and and you know that's how he finds little things missing or things out of adjustment. He 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 he, he uh, does it with his cars and all of his vehicles. He'll uh, he'll detail them, and you can you know you find rust, you find find you know loose missing hardware. It's a good practice. Even the rim is dusty. So yeah, it's nice to, like I said, it's nice to help out a guy. And if you guys learn anything from this, I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm not an expert. I, my first job, my first job, this is funny. This is a funny story. My first job was actually at a bike store because I built, I built bikes from trash. You know, in the spring in Chicago, people would throw away their, you know, a whole bunch of bike frames and stuff. And then I would, in the alley, I would drag them back to my house and then try to build bikes out of them. You know, I was usually successful. But this one bike I built, it was a 20-inch bike. I'll never forget it. It's probably, my, probably the first bike that I ever built, really. I mean, my uncle gave me a bicycle with solid tires on it. It was a 20-inch bike with solid tires on it. And I remember, like, eight or ten of us would get on that thing and cruise it down the alley because you couldn't, you know, couldn't. it wouldn't go flat. But my very first bike that I built <laughs> needed this. The seat stem, seat post. And I looked around the basement and I was looking for gas pipe and, you know, barbells. And I it was just, oh, it was so frustrating. I just couldn't find it. Because back then, this part was, you know, like a universal seat stay. And it just basically just needed a post. So I went over to my local bike store in Chicago called Easy Rider believe it or not. And I went over to Easy Rider and I met the owner. His name was Mike. And I told him what I did. I told him what I needed. And um, <laughs> he put me to work. He actually had me change a tire on a 10-speed bicycle. So that was pretty neat. And then when I got done, I said, you know, I need a seat post. He said, you know, how what are you gonna how are you gonna how are you gonna pay? And I said, I don't know how much it how much is it? And he laughed and he gave it to me. He says, You already worked, you already did the work. You worked for it, you worked it off. So basically I bartered I bartered for my very first uh bicycle part. And I never officially worked at Easy Rider, but much like this place, I would go over there sometimes and you know, on a rainy day. Put a little grease on that too so it doesn't rust in place, you know, dissimilar metals and all. Put it kind of low. I'm not sure if that goes that way. I mean, it's maximum adjustable. I think, yeah, I like it. I like that. I like that. You can put this forward, backward, up, down. Looks about, that looks about right. 
get the get the wrench in here just lo loosely tighten it that'll be for the final the final adjustment will be with the uh with the customer that bought this like i said but yeah my very first bicycle part i worked for it i'd go over there and he had me he had one of those one of those cadillacs with with, with the with the displacement on demand i guess very crude and primitive form of it that thing never worked for him it just never he had nothing but trouble with that thing and i remember working on that when i was like 14 years old you know the seat post was i was like about nine maybe started riding bikes when i was seven so yeah probably eight or nine go over there on my own you know so i was growing up in the city it just I don't know, you just sort of just do what needs to be done. And uh yeah, that's that's all I got for that story. But I went there I was probably about 14, 15 years old. He's like, Hey, can you fix my Cadillac? I'm like, Yeah, sure, I'll take a look at it. I remember looking at the thing and it was all you know, all foreign to me and I believe it was fuel injected and you know, there was digitals on it and all kinds of stuff. So that was pretty cool. So now we just need to tighten up the, the, the stem. Andy, it's the same, same size. Probably five or six millimeter. Get on there, it's straight-ish. And again, we don't have to tighten, tighten like crazy because that's for the final, final adjustment for the customer. I don't know how big or how short or how whatever they are might have long arms and short legs or short legs and no arms no they gotta have arms on the side of bicycle i think um yeah so that's built basically relax done oh. or is it hey you guys it's tomorrow welcome back to uh jeff tax metal garage and i'm here with troy and Robbie and the kids. Today is Friday. It's sunny out. Last night I was editing this video I made it for you guys. And I realized I made a mistake. How many of you guys noticed it? That's right. I uh, mounted this fender on the front part of the forks. And I realized it'll probably sit a little bit better if we put it on the rear. Come on, let's get you guys in over here. We're going to change this thing out really quick. They called it being a perfectionist when I was a kid. And then they changed it to OCD. A nil retentive. You name it. It's the same thing. Much like the soldiers of World War I were diagnosed with shell shock. By the time we got to uh, Afghanistan, it's called PTSD. Just different letters and words for the same condition. But I consider that I have functional o OCD because I realize there's no such thing as perfection. You can get close. But the universe in its infinite wisdom is perfection. And uh, just get that to stay there for a second. So straighten it and then push this up. Too tight. There we go. Push that all the way up. There we go. She's straight. She's looking better already. Look at that. It still bugs me that little little bit of paper in there buff that out buff that out with some paper towel here try to get that little bit of plastic out of there and then we'll put the tire back on you want to start by getting a getting the brake rotor into the caliper but yeah, I'm not gonna cut corners for you guys. I wanna show you in real time. 
like I said yesterday, I'm not a perfect. I'm not a professional. Might be a perfectionist, but I'm not a professional. And I've never built one of these Valak e-bikes before. It's my first one, so let's loosen that up. Let's loosen this nut up here. Get a little bit of better adjustment going on. Oh, now the now the quick release is in the way. up there straight yeah loosen these see I could center that fender now tighten that one a little it wouldn't be Jeff Tech Metal Garage without my power tools anyway would it give that one a little good dig alright put the 10 away in there and then we're gonna try this got this smart tire inflator off of the Zahn good boys and girls you bark at that guy check this out check this out Troy so it's a ooh ah blah, blah. I don't know how you say that but when you pull out the dipstick it turns on and um, this is pretty neat. Auto set, put it on the tire, see what we got here. It's preset to 45.0, I don't know what this is gonna be. This is, is this you? I'd uh, say um, 50 PSI. Oh, it's 45, look at that. There you go. So I guess if we turn this, setting up to you want 50? Yeah, let's go 50. Let's go 50, all right. There you go. Now that's straight out of the box. I didn't charge it. I didn't do anything. It just showed up the other day. We're up to 49 oh, already. <laughs> and there you go. What? You don't need to gauge. And it doesn't have a tank. It just makes it on demand. Yeah, battery powered air pump. Like It'll fill up a truck tire. Wow. I mean, how neat is that? It's like hot water on demand, but it's, hot, it's air on demand. Exactly. So yeah, I want. I think this will be great in the back forty when I'm working on quads and oh micro gosh, monkeys and it. stuff. Because I, because I've got the twelve volt plug in one, but it's only got twenty foot cord. Oh wow! So wow. this is this is. Wow. I know, like right, like why why shouldn't every every car should come with one of these? Wow. It's thirty bucks. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. Just like those jump packs, that little Gulu jump pack that I have. The same. bikes because the bike people it would be a nice accessory for a bike person because having smaller volume of air in a tire is more noticeable when you lose the pressure right and how many in a bigger volume tire and how many people have blown out their tires with those co2 ones because you can't there's no pressure regulation on it right this is not this is not reading on this one that's pretty cool, huh? Little, 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 little Zahn technology going on. <laughs> I love new stuff. Said that yesterday. It's cool working on new stuff. So how many of you guys caught my mistake? It's not going on all the way. Hmm, interesting. Got some debris in there or something? I don't know. Try this again. Hmm. It's not showing anything. Oh, here we go. 45.0. It was set to a different. So let's go. Thirty-five. Let's set it to fifty. So now fifty psi would be four and a half bars. I believe you can change. I'm gonna check that right now. Fifty, and we shut off. Three, yeah, three point two, three point two bar, three point, yeah, three point six bar, I guess. 
or eight, eight, maybe eight bar. What is that? That's the PSI up there. I, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go through all the settings on that, but it's got car, it's got motorcycle and bicycle. So yeah, it's pretty neat. I'm really impressed with this little thing. I wanted to try. I think it'd be great in the back 40 with all the junk I've been working on lately. So yeah. Oh, Just got done refilming this. I realized it wasn't on record, so I do it. But yeah, thanks you guys. I'm glad I'm not the only one that does that. I know, right? Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, we'll see you on the next, the next one. Thank <laughs> you.